Today I'm going to demonstrate uh, just how easy it is to export a predictive model uh, that you've trained in BigML uh, and use it in Tableau to get additional insight into your data. I'm going to use a data set that comes with Tableau. It's called the Superstore data set. And it's information about purchases made at a hypothetical online retailer. Uh, I think we're supposed to assume that it's something like Amazon.com. Uh, but in any case, this is a popular data set uh, that actually comes with Tableau. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a calculated field uh, to predict whether an item was sold at a profit. So I'm just going to call this profitable. I've already got the formula over here. And there we go. And this is what I'm going to be trying to predict using BigML, is whether a particular item is likely to be sold at a profit, um, given attributes of the item itself, and also given attributes of how that item was sold. And so I'm going to set up my training set here in Tableau. And I'm going to, get a, I'm going to look at um, category. I'm going to look at. Uh, what type of container that item ships in. I'm going to look at the uh, department or category of the item. Uh, I'm going to look at whether an item was sold at a discount. Uh, I'm going to look at that item's uh, margin and uh, the price that it's sold at per unit. And these are going to be the attributes of my training set uh, that I train my predictive model on. Now, to make sure that I get the right level of detail in my training set, I'm also going to add order ID um, as a column. And I'm actually going to change it to a dimension, because we're not interested in the numeric value of the order ID. Uh, we're just interested in the fact that there's one order ID per order. And add that to my data set. And finally, I'm going to add whether this particular item is profitable, which again is what I'm trying to predict. And so here's my data set. And you can see that an order might have multiple items. We have all these different attributes of a specific item. We also have attributes of how that item was sold within that particular order. For example, what was the discount? And this is what I'm going to use as my training set. So I just go copy cross tab. And I'm just going to paste that in the notepad. I'm just going to save that as super one. And I'm going to go into BigML. I'm going to upload this data set. And there we go. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, create a data set from this raw source data. So BigML is now analyzing this text file. And now BigML knows uh, the distribution of values for each field. So it can make intelligent decisions when it comes time to train a model. And now I'm going to configure my model. The thing I want to predict is whether a particular item was sold at a profit in a particular order. And you'll notice that BigML automatically excludes this order ID field here, um, which is actually what I want. I'm not looking to make any predictions based on the order ID. I only included that in my data set to make sure I got the right level of detail. And so here we go. I'm going to click Create Model. And we have a model. Uh, predicting whether a particular item in a particular order was sold at a profit. And 
if I just quickly look at the sunburst view, I can see that I'm getting some pretty good patterns in this model. And so I want to know uh, how accurate this model is. And so I'm going to do an evaluation using a holdout set. Again, I just do one click training and test. This will automatically split my data into training and test. Now I'm going to train a model on this 80%. Again, I'm trying to predict whether an item was sold at a profit in a particular order. And I'm just going to do create, create model. Email very quickly gives me the decision tree. And now I'm just going to do evaluate. So we'll evaluate on the 20% holdout set. This is telling me my model is about 75% accurate. And I can quickly see this is better than uh, random guessing. So that's good to know. Now that I have some sense of the accuracy of my model, I'm going to go back to the model that I trained on 100% of the data. And I can actually download this model using the Download Actionable Model feature. And you'll see there's actually a button here for Tableau. If I click on that, I actually get this predictive model I just trained expressed as a Tableau custom function. We're going to come back to that in just a minute. Now, <clears throat> suppose that someone in my organization, suppose a, uh, suppose a sales planner within my organization uh, sends me this spreadsheet. And this is their plan for uh, how they think we should sell uh, 100 items uh, within the office supplies category. So the sales planner for office supplies sends me this spreadsheet and says, hey, what do you think of um, this plan I've drawn up uh, do you think this is going to be good for the company? And you can see we've got um, the different columns here that were part of our model. We've also got this column here uh, for the name of the item, uh, which was not part of our model. Um, but that's okay, because as long as we have these things here, we can actually make a prediction. And so uh, again, there's 100 items that this uh, sales planner has sent me. And I want to know uh, if their ideas are any good, if the way they're proposing to sell these and what they're proposing to sell, what items at what discount, uh, if that's actually going to make the company money. So I'm going to go back into Tableau and I'll create a new workbook. And I'm going to import this data directly in the Tableau. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that model I trained in BigML. And I'm actually going to uh, simply copy and paste it as a custom function. And this will actually let me make predictions using this model um, on this data that this sales planner sent me. So I'm going to go to Download Actionable Model, and click Tableau, click Pop Up. I'm just going to copy this function, go back in the Tableau. Create calculated field. I'm simply going to paste this function into Tableau. And you'll notice that Tableau examines the function and tells me the calculation is valid. So that's great. And I'm going to call this predicted profit. Now, if I do a really quick analysis, I'm just going to look at the number of records, which in this case is 100. I'm going to break it out by category. So this is all within the department of office supplies. And you can see 
there's a few different categories of office supplies that we're selling, paper, scissors, binders, uh, appliances, etc. If I take this predicted profit field that I just generated, I can use that like I would any other Tableau field. It's simply a custom calculation in Tableau. It's something that Tableau natively understands. So I'm just going to drag this onto the color box here. And presto, I now have uh, colored predictions for how uh, these sales are likely to do um, if we put them up on the website. And you can see that here in the paper category, uh, there's not a lot of orange, which is profit more than zero, and there's a lot of dark blue, which is profit less than zero. So we know that dark blue is bad and orange is good. You can immediately see that there is a big difference across categories uh, in which of these proposed uh, offerings is actually going to make us money. And so you can also see over here in storage or organization that uh, all of these uh, proposed um, sales plans uh, for these items, these are all making us money. And so it's just such a big difference between this, where we don't have the predictions on what's profitable, uh, and this, where we can immediately see, hey, storage and organization, um, we have some great ideas on how to sell that. Over here in the paper category, however, uh, we should probably take a second look at our ideas. And the same thing with binders over here. And I can immediately send this back to this sales planner um, and give them uh, this very useful feedback. And there you have it. Uh, in just a few mouse clicks, we've exported data from Tableau. We've made predictions uh, using a, a model trained on that data. We've evaluated the accuracy of that model. And then we've exported that model directly into Tableau and gotten this great insight about uh, which items in the office supplies category uh, will make us money if we sell them a certain way and which ones won't.